Okay, I'm back from my break and ready to hang out again with the skeleton. Uh, so, return, I think. Yeah, there we are. Okay, all right. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, I, I remember. <laughs> I stopped at this part. Um, yes, I mean, what, what can I say? I I have to pick this one. It's just too funny. Dude, I'd pay to know those 24 ways of screwing. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you. <laughs> I'm trying to repress the memory, but I'm sure Pap will be happy to help you. <laughs> oh my god. This is this is um yeah. Good to know. Good to know. That papyrus can help me with those screwing things. <laughs> I think once he was so excited to go to one of his performances, he stomped his foot to the ground until he made a hole in it. I believe it. Town celebrated him for weeks. It was the first time our town had seen magma. <laughs> Eventually they closed it, but it was fun for a while. Kids kept throwing junk in there. Papyrus became their hero. He's always been popular with the kids. Oh yeah, he seems like the kind of person who would be. Probably because of the cape. One day he lost it, and guess who had to swim all the way through half the underground and almost fell down a waterfall? Not me. <laughs> I was about to say, that doesn't sound like you. You had no doubt about it. But Undyne did. Of course she did. Oh, you know her. Well, you don't exactly know her, but Papyrus talked so much about her, it's almost like you know her. The very kind and joyful lady, right? <laughs> she sounds like a sweetheart. I don't know if that's the right word to describe her. <laughs> well, in her own way, I would say. In her own way, she is. But she does have a gold heart in her. Yeah, exactly. Precious and unbreakable and also incredibly painful if she throws it at you. <laughs> That's a peculiar metaphor. She did a lot for Paps. She even managed to convince the king to make him... Oh, the king to make him an honorary member of the guard. The guard doesn't exist anymore and the title was purely symbolic, but that was probably the best day of his life. There was no... Papmers and stuff, just Asgore going like, sure, whatever, you can be our mascot. Not his exact words, but in his defense, Undyne kinda caught him off guard during a picnic. He was never good at improvising. Uh, how is Undyne doing? I don't think I've ever met her. Wait, so you invited the king to a picnic? <laughs> ah, hmm, which one is the better option here? I know I should probably just go with whatever I feel like, but with these kind of games I'm always very worried that I'll pick something wrong and then everything will suddenly go downhill and stuff will explode and everything will end badly and I don't know. Um, hey, you know what, I'm just I'm just going to, uh, to go and save really quickly. <laughs> just in case, just in case. Okay. Um, let's let's ask you invited the king to a picnic. I mean, that's that's kind of a big thing to drop if if you didn't know that beforehand. More like he invited us. He always liked these peaceful, nature-inclined things. He also also he resigned from his king career. Figured up the here there were enough people in charge. He's now just a consultant of some sort. Which for him is great, he gets money by telling humans stupid stuff about monsters. Wish that were me. <laughs> but he has a lot of free time, so he can work on getting his life back. His wife doesn't seem to agree too much, but at least now she can tolerate being in the same room with him. Hmm. Seriously, don't believe what the news say. He's the kindest dude you'll ever meet. Poor guy did some bad stuff, but hey, we all do some fuck-ups from time to time. That is very true. I think you guys say something like, erring is human. I'd like to think that's valid for monsters too. You are about to reply when you hear the door crack open. Oh, 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 it's Papyrus. Sans, I'm home. Is the human with you? Did you wait for me? Ah, oh, 
Paris. Hi. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love his shirt. Like he he has this this little uh side knot there. Very stylish papyrus. Looking great. Yep, we've been good. Are you sure, Sans? Are you really sure? <laughs> because I happened to see a coat on the ground while entering the door. Oh no, <laughs> he caught us with our coat shenanigans. Did you see the error mes message as well? <laughs> you wouldn't know anything about it, would you? <laughs> of course not, Pap. That's not mine. Oh, traitor! <laughs> you little. <laughs> sure it isn't. But anyway, I brought food. He lifts two cheap plastic bags, so swollen they look like they could explode at any moment. Everything about those bags scared you. <laughs> Though I had some problems finding a genuine store in activity at this time of the day. Actually, it's night. Shutting down all at the same hour doesn't seem very efficient. That is true, actually. But what do I know about human norms and conventions? Anyhow, back to the food. Here it comes. I brought frozen pizza. That went a lot better than you thought. Yeah, actually, it, that it did. Of course, it's not my exquisite handmade pasta. Actually, it's not pasta at all. But it's very close. I guess it's from the same style of cuisine at least, so we'll let that count. It's like pasta but more round and big and you eat it with hands. <laughs> or that, I suppose. Yeah, we do eat it with hands. You go set up the movie while I go to heat up the pizzas. You heard the boss, kiddo. The evening went smoothly from there. Oh, oh, why is Papyrus crying? <laughs> Papyrus chose Coco, and even if he admitted that the skeletons with eyes give him the creeps, you discovered it being his favorite movie. Not only because of the charming skeleton that looks like him, he really cared to underline. Apparently it was the twelfth time Heroi watched it, but he ended up catching a lot of tears in his eyes anyway. Aww. At some point, Sans, thank you for sitting through it without cracking jokes, for Papyrus' sake, like you were somehow forcing yourself to watch it. You then replied gently but firmly to shut the heck up because it was a beautiful movie and he should thank all the gods and goddesses who dropped it straight out of heaven. I actually haven't seen that movie, so I can't comment on that. Shame on me, it has skeletons, I know. He laughed when, against your better judgement, you cried and ate pizza at the same time. In the end, it was a really fun evening. Nothing less or nothing more than what you expected. You couldn't wait for the next movie night. Ending. A movie night indeed. Oh, so that, that was it. That was the ending I got, I suppose. Right, okay. So I heard that there's multiple endings. So I, I guess I got a good one. That's that's relieving. So at least I, I didn't like crash everything <laughs> with my choices. Um, but I also feel that it wasn't the best ending I could have gotten. Uh, so I, hmm, I guess I would have to, to make some different choices next time. But yeah, at least I, I finished it and it went fine and I had a fun night with the skeletons and, uh, <laughs> and some funny um, conversations about screwing. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm not really sure if I'm going to do uh, the other the other replies to you. I'll have to think about that. But yep, that was one one ending of the movie night fan game. And if you like this, you should definitely go and try it out because I had a lot of fun playing it. I was laughing a lot, and I think it's really cute. I think it's uh, very well done, and uh, yeah, it's a fun experience. If you like Undertale, definitely give it a try and shout out to the creator of the game because honestly, great job. This was really cool. Okay, so that's it from me. Bye!